Off you go. All right. Uh, last year, Sarah Malloy came and talked at, at the beginning of this project, so I am now here at the end of Reposit to give you the final report. We're wrapping it up in the next couple of weeks, and it will be online at this blog, and then we'll also publicize it all over the place because we're finding some interesting results from the surveys and the user groups. So an overview of the project is we are investigating how advocacy impacts deposit through the CRIS to Reposit connectors. All of the project partners are at various stages in terms of implementing their repository connectors. Um, and our goals were to see if it actually impacts engagement with repositories. Are we going to actually see an increase in numbers by implementing the connectors, which in this case was Symplectic as our one commercial partner. Um, and also one thing that as a community you can use, we're going to have community tools that you can use and reuse. So there's five HEI partners plus Symplectic. Um, and we all were at various stages of implementing the publication database or RMS or CRIS or whatever you want to call it. We keep debating on what we're actually going to call the system in the report. Um, we all had agreed aims and it was baked up with JISC funding. So thank you, JISC. And so what we also had was different interactions between the systems. So um, Exeter and Plymouth pointed to one system. Um, Keel and Queen Mary was a one-to-one -one relationship, and Leeds has this interesting thing where we have white rows, where it's kind of like a one-to-many, many-to-one sort of craziness, because we all have probably two to three repositories each. Um, and we're all in different stages, too, between production, implementation, and pilot. We thought we'd be a little bit more advanced at this point in the year. Um, one of the findings is that the connectors, even though I think you're going to save time, actually has put a strain on the technical element, but that wasn't part of the project. Um, so with putting the connectors in place, you actually have to talk to more people. So instead of operating in a silo like we all had been doing with our repositories, now we have to talk to the research office and we're interacting with more and more people on, on the ground, which is a good thing. It actually makes your workload increase, um, um, which kind of impacted our goals a bit. So from our goals of last July to this July, they're pretty much the same. Um, time scales have shifted a bit. We thought everybody would be in full production, but we're not actually. Um, we're about to go full production. Queen Mary finally has the repository up and running. Um, but one year on, we actually have more of the objectives delivered. There's the Google group is up and running. Um, at the last RSP event, more people have joined up. So there's a, a link at the last slide. So please join up to that and start Start engaging with that if you want to kind of bring together the um, Chris repository community. Ah, <laughs> this is where the Pecha Kucha thing goes bad. So, um, so the community resources, there's the slide deck that we want people to use and add and reuse so that we're not all building the same thing again and again and again. So please pick that up. And we also have posters and taglines and all sorts of materials that you can use. So the one finding, is life different with a connector? Not really. You still have the same stuff. You're just putting it in a different place, and you're interacting with more people. And in fact, you have a larger community that can act on your behalf to bring content in. Um, one of the things we wanted, one of the goals was to find out if we actually brought in more numbers. But as the, advocate, the faculty team librarians and ourselves went out, instead of just selling the one system, it's focusing on the benefits of connecting it up. So it is one location. They just have to log in once as opposed to twice. Leeds had two systems, so they had to log into White Rose and the publication database. Um, now they just have to log into one, but we're finding that the faculty members actually can break it in 100 different ways now instead of just once. So that's something to learn from us, and we'll write that up in the report. Um, oh, now I'm going too slow. So <laughs> and I just cheated. I know. So. Um, and also, we've been stealing taglines from other systems, too, and for the posters and the advocacy materials. So if you come up with new taglines for your materials to go out to the faculties, um, please contribute back to the community also. Um, some of you probably are recognizing some of these. But the, it's a familiar recipe that we're, it's open access is still the same no matter what your connector is, if it's, it's the CRIS or your standalone system. Um, I'm joking. Um, and now I've just lost it. <laughs> Anyways, 
this sort of Petra culture thing is weird. Um, <laughs> so have our numbers increased. And this is what's going to find out in the report, actually, is as the faculty members are finding it, they are slowly depositing. And one of the things was we chose four faculties. Two, we actually did advocacy to, and two, we didn't. And the ones that we did advocacy to, we, we are getting more numbers, but it's the same old game of if you don't have a mandate, you don't really have the stick or the iron bars, this is the case. So you know, they're going to deposit based upon goodwill as opposed to the university saying you have to. And that ultimately will determine whether you actually, your numbers do increase. Um, we also, we have a survey out currently. We've done surveys in the past and have had very minimal numbers. Now it says a 100 pound Amazon voucher. We have over 300 people that have deposited in a week, or not deposited, but um, filled out the survey in a week. So obviously bribing actually works for your faculty members. Um, so how can you help? Since we do have a community group set up and we have resources online that are out and freely available, please use them. Please comment on them. Let us know if they make sense. Um, if you have resources of your own that you wish to share, uh, Queen Mary's repository is the one that people are putting their content into. Um, and these are the links. So anyways, be kind. This is my first Pecha Kulcha. So. <laughs> OK, cool.